is the Delhi Metro, the largest metro network in India. With 11 functional railway lines, it has a well-connected network with over 2 million people using it for their daily commute. I'll catch uh, 8 o'clock and it takes 2 hours to reach my destination place. Delhi also has a huge fleet of buses flying on the roads daily. IT, you think that the large network of public transport system would keep the roads free and uncongested. Yet such scenes are common around the city. Despite having a good network of public transportation, Delhi has been seeing a rapid increase in the number of private vehicles on the road. I basically use private transport because uh, there's no good public infrastructure here. Right? End-to-end -end connectivity is something which can be further improved upon. Plus, my accommodation is quite nearby, so it does not make much sense for me to use a public transport. Delhi's buses are very crowded and I feel comfortable to travel Because of inconvenience or overcrowding, a lot of people don't use public transportation. That's why Delhi ranked second on the list of five worst performing cities when it comes to public transport in the Ease of Living Index 2020 released by the Ministry of Urban Planning and Housing. The findings of the report showed that Delhi was among the cities that had the low availability of public transport with just 1,688 per lakh population. If you compare the Delhi Transportation Corporation bus fleet, they have just around 7,000 public buses. This is nowhere near enough to cater to the 20 million plus population of the city. I'm at the Centre of Science and Environment to find out why a public transport system isn't doing too great. If you look at the uh, ridership of 2013 and uh, 14, it was almost, uh, the combined ridership of DTC and cluster was almost like 50 lakhs. But if you look at the recent data of two th uh, which is available uh, from the Daily uh, Economic Survey report, it, is, it has shown that their ridership has declined by 8 lakhs. Well, in, in 2018 and 2019, it was almost around 42 lakhs. We need at least another 3,500 buses in roads. So that is a one concern because when, when you are there, you want buses to be there in the road. And this another concern is the schedule adherence and all of those stuff. It's the cleanliness of buses and those, those things also we need to be looked at. As Sayan mentions, poor last mile connectivity, that is the distance from one's home to the metro or bus station, and even overcrowding, discourages passengers. The issue of overcrowding has even reached the courts. A Delhi court is seeking response from Delhi government's transport department, Metro Rail Corporation and Traffic Police about the mounting problem. This can be blamed on Delhi's planning, which didn't take into account mobility. Many of the capital's high-density neighbourhoods are unplanned colonies and have little public transport connectivity. Studies also point out how it is cheaper to travel by two-wheelers than metro rail if the distance is up to 32 kilometers. Even cars are more economical than metro if the distance is up to 7 kilometers. But here's the catch. The answer doesn't lie in making transportation free, because that would result in losses as it did with the Delhi buses. Less revenue would translate to poor services and fewer bus fleets on the road, thus resulting in more private vehicles on the roads and this. The worst part of not having good public transportation in place is that more people have to resort to using private vehicles and that adds to pollution. Every year over the last five years if you look at, Delhi has added around like 36 lakhs of vehicles, private vehicles. So it has obviously has a huge repercussion in terms of pollution and particularly the particulate pollutions which causes our disease, different diseases related to the lungs and respiratory diseases. So how can we overcome this perennial problem? This is what Sai and Roy suggested. The government should also find out that, uh, should support these kind of services to sustain, that, uh, so that these STUs can continuously upgrade themselves, they can expand, they can improve their quality of services and uh, keep uh, running the buses the way it should. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.